Hi, this is Jundo. Welcome to Tree Leaf. No life, no family, escapes tragedy. This is one of the Buddha's most fundamental teachings. No life is free of difficulty, sadness, and our family is no exception. There are people out there, families, that are suffering with even greater difficulties in their life right now. And what I'm going to describe is, I guess on a relative scale, not as bad as it could be. But for us it is a sadness, a tragedy nonetheless. And it is one that we have to live with each day. A few years ago we began the process of adopting a little girl, a little girl from China. We have a name. Her name is Sada. And when our son was small, he was two, he began to understand. We told him, as we thought, that Sada would be with us any day. But the phone would ring and the time would be there. And we would get on a plane and fly to China and get our little girl. Well, the months passed, the years passed. The adoption agency began to tell us stories. Our boy, who was two, was three, four, now he's seven. There's no Sada. The adoption agency, well, that's a long story, but they now say that it may be the year 2014. The last I heard, sometimes they're not even so confident about that. And I have no idea why it's taking so long. But there's no Sada. Our little boy asks us, out of the blue, maybe once every two or three months, where's my sister? Where's little Sada? And what can we tell him? We tell him that life, the universe, Buddha, God, doesn't all, always give us what we want when we want it. This is part of accepting that life is up and down. And even at his young age, at the age of seven, I think it's important that he understands this. If we always got everything we wanted, well, what a boring, spoiled life this would be. But yet it makes it no easier when life throws things at us that we really, in our hearts, which we're not, wish we're not so. There are people in our Sangha right now dealing with what seems to be life-threatening illness, relationships that have not gone well, children that are in danger in their families for, well, for being overseas in war, we have people facing all kinds of situations. And it's hard to accept sometimes that life is all these things. But what other choice do we have? The Buddha, when he left his palace, saw things that we consider ugly in life, that we all get old, that we all get sick, and we could add that we all sometimes lose children that we wish we had. That the businesses or the homes we put our hearts in because of this economy might be taken from us. There are all kinds of people suffering in our Sangha with all kinds of things like this. And we just have to accept. We just have to accept that life will go on. Something is over the coming hill. It'll turn out one way or the other. It'll be okay. And it will be. It will be. I've seen people who were thrown by life in very, very difficult situations in wheelchairs after a car accident and losing someone they dearly loved. And they still smiled with time. It took time. 
but their life wasn't over. They just had a new life, a different life, maybe. But life continued, and the wise ones learned that it was okay to appreciate it. You can overcome almost any tragedy. You can get through. I know when you're in the heart of it, it may not seem easy. But you can, and you will get through, and it will be okay. There is still joy to be found in this life, even if it doesn't always turn out the way we wish. Now, there are people out there who have lost children, and young children who have died. In our cases, it was not quite the same, because we still have hope that somewhere down the road there is a little girl named Sada. But as the years pass, I'm well, losing hope a bit. I'm wondering if it will ever be. And to be honest, every time my son asks where his little sister is, we feel grief as if she'd been taken from us, even though we've never seen her, even though there's a name but no specific child. There's a great sadness. But the Buddha never said that his practice would allow us not to be sad all the time that we'd be happy all the time. He never said that. He said his practice would allow us not to suffer by rejecting this life of happiness and sadness. You have to be at one with this life of happiness and sadness, with the ups and downs. You have to let it all play out. You have to go along for the ride. That's what this practice is. One face of it, anyway. So, there'll be other tragedies down the road in our family, like in all families. People we love will grow sick, die. The economy will go up and down. Things will happen. It'll be okay. Shall we sit with them?